Autopsy Doctors of Reddit, what was strangest discovery you've made while preforming an autopsy? Not my personal story, but when I was in my intro to M's class my teacher brought in a death investigator former autopsy examiner to speak to our class. She told us while she worked as an autopsy examiner she got this woman who at the time mysteriously suffocated after a car accident. Apparently this woman was driving and while she was driving she grabbed her lighter from her purse and was holding it in her mouth while she fumbled through her bag for her cigarettes. While doing this she got t-boned. The airbag went off and on the way to hospital they kept trying to put tubes down her throat to open her airway cause she was having trouble breathing. But no luck. She said when they cut open her throat during the autopsy they found her lighter jammed down there. Apparently when the airbag went off it got jammed down her throat and no one knew. Not a doctor, autopsy tech. Nothing particularly strange. Mostly suicides and natural deaths. The strange thing is when you start working there suddenly all the patients are around your age. It's just coincidence but feels freaky. I was 19 and had several cases that were under 21. Luckily never any kids. One guy died behind the wheel and crashed into a Cadillac dealership. Ended up totaling several cars. Listen to your doctor if they tell you to do something. Like walking after a bone break. If you sit on a chair and never walk you could end up with a blood clot that breaks off and kills you via pulmonary embolism. Person had several thumb-sized DVTS in her calves and one in the lung. Also don't be afraid to get help if you're suffering. Suicide isn't the answer. Forensic histopathology and autopsy tech here. I've seen really enlarged hearts, mostly due to myocarditis. Mostly what we call NASH deaths, natural, accidental, suicide, homicide. But nothing was strange enough that I haven't seen it at least twice. Undiagnosed widespread metastasized cancer in a college kid that had died in a bar fight gone bad. It's one of the small mysteries of my career thus far that has stuck with me. The primary mystery being how it could be that he wouldn't have noticed his condition or sought medical attention prior to his death. This was not some mere colon polyp, it was everywhere. I've had other instances before and since where you find the second place, cause of death that didn't get to have its moment, certainly a lot of older people have a thing or two in the works, but that was definitely the strangest instance of that concept. I met a medical examiner at a friend's party recently, and he told us that once he received the body of a cheese factory worker who fell and drowned, burned in molten cheese. It was super awkward as the corpse they received was embedded in a chunk of cheese as it had cooled down. Felt like carving out a corpse from the leftovers of a fondue, French molten cheese dish. It was his top one. When my mom took gross anatomy, her professor pointed out that the cadaver had a blood vessel that went through the tricep instead of around it like it was supposed to. The professor said that the students would probably never see that again because it is very rare. Not my story. Dragon Con used to have a program where the state coroner for Gar would come in and basically play Guess How They Died with pictures of bodies that he had received. Being a horror writer, I went regularly. Most memorable one for me was a torso and lower jaw, no signs of injury other than the remainder of the skull being absent. Turns out the poor guy had been changing a tire alongside 285. He stood up just as a truck went by. Truck passenger had their feet sticking out the window and accidentally kicked the guy's head off. Passenger had severely broken legs. I saw that picture in 1995 and it still bothers me. Not human corpses but did a few zootopsy and found some odd stuff. Majority of it was cancer, heart failure, or odd accidents. Very rarely was it something horrifying. Had a cat that only was born with one kidney and it was too small, looked like it stopped developing while young. Had a dog that best described looked like a train wreck, it had multiple surgires from swallowing random objects and did a number on the digestive tract when it got older. Could see where intestine in multiple spots were removed and put together again. Had a tortoise have hay shoved up its nose and best described only one functional nostril, it was completely blocked the body in case the foreign object, it passed from poor nutrition. Had a bird managed to swallow a squeaker from a dog toy, not sure how no one noticed that. Fish also will swallow anything, top five were, ping pong balls, those small solider figures, a ballpoint pen, small Christmas ornament, and a fake rose. When I was a med student our cadaver had a thumb-sized lump in his scrotum. I thought we'd discover a tumor. When I dissected and cut open the scrotum there was a plastic object. 
It turned out to be a penile implant. Our professor had me dissect the entire implant out and everyone else went to our table and I had to show them the entire contraption. Reservoir, cylinders and all. I was later called the penile implant guy. No I didn't become a urologist. If these guys would really open up you'd read some incredible stories. 8 kilograms liver, hepatomegaly, because of micrometastasis of urethelial carcinoma. That would be a pathologist. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to subscribe to Upboat for the best quality content every day.